Have you ever felt guilty for doing something that made you happy? Have others in your life made you feel bad about things that aren't even your fault or not a fault at all? Having the humility and decency to admit and apologize for our mistakes is an admirable quality to have. We're raised to behave, be courteous, and say sorry so that we don't hurt others and can mend things if we do. That's all fine and good. However, what happens when we let it get out of hand? Have you ever stopped to ask yourself why you're constantly apologizing, even when you're not wrong? If you struggle with the unhealthy habit of apologizing too much, even for things that shouldn't be held against you, then it's time for a change. There are certain things in life that you absolutely should never have to apologize for. And to help you, here are seven great examples. One, being successful because you earned it. While it should seem obvious to all of us, nobody should ever have to apologize for earning our success. Accomplishments should be celebrated, not shamed. Yet there are some people out there who feel jealous of what you've achieved and will try to make you feel bad for it. Don't give them the satisfaction of letting it get to you. You worked hard to make something of yourself and you should be proud of it. Know that you deserve your success and don't let other people take that pride away from you. Two, spending your money. If you're spending your own hard-earned money on things you feel are important to you and it's within your means, then there's no need for you to feel bad. You're free to spend your money on whatever you want because you earned it. Rewarding ourselves helps motivate us to do better, gives more meaning to the work that we do and the goals that we achieve. As long as you're not neglecting any financial obligations, you don't owe anyone an apology. Before we go on to the next point, we also did a video on personal boundaries too. You should check that out after this video if you haven't. Three, saying no when you need to. It's hard not to feel a little bad when we feel like we're backing out of helping someone. At the same time, we do have a right to our personal boundaries and we have the right to stand our ground and assert ourselves when they're being crossed. It might not always feel like the right thing to do, but you need to take control of your life and say no to things you can't do or don't want to do. Constantly saying yes, regardless of your health, energy level, or time may result in regret, self-loathing, and resentment towards the other person. Four, not prioritizing the drama of others. Do you have anyone in your life who constantly comes to you with their problems and only their problems? Someone whose main purpose in talking to you seems to be sucking you into their needless drama. If you answered yes, then you've probably wanted to tell this person you're tired of listening to their dilemmas and tried to distance yourself from them at one time or another, which is completely okay. There's nothing wrong with wanting to prioritize more important matters in your life. Getting caught up in another person's drama can be emotionally exhausting. So you shouldn't have to apologize for wanting some peace of mind every once in a while. Five, ending toxic relationships. It can be difficult to accept that sometimes the people we love aren't good for us. When you're in any type of relationship with a toxic person, you're being mistreated frequently and exploited and often manipulated. You have a right to self-preservation and you owe it to yourself to cut ties and leave them behind. Is there anyone in your life currently who only drains you of all of your happiness, motivation, and self-esteem? How do you feel when you're around them? Like excising a malignant tumor, there is no apology needed for getting rid of them. Six, asking for help. Here's a hard and humbling truth. Nobody has all the answers in life. That's right, nobody. So don't feel bad if you can't do or figure everything out by yourself. Don't be fearful in reaching out to others and asking for help when needed. Asking them for help shows self-awareness, humility, and also that the person being asked is someone you trust enough to help you. Don't feel bad and don't let them make you feel bad. You shouldn't let people treat you as an unbearable burden for asking for their help when you really need it. And seven, wanting to be happy. Last, but definitely not least, you should never apologize for wanting to be happy. Whether it means chasing your dreams, being yourself, or taking care of your personal needs, 
you don't owe anyone an apology or an explanation for how you choose to be happy. Nobody has the right to ask you to change, prioritize them over yourself, or sacrifice all of your hopes and aspirations for their sake. Don't let their judgment or negativity keep you from doing what you love and pursuing the things that truly matter to you. You own your happiness, and no one else can lay claim for it. You are just as valuable as anyone else. Never shortchange yourself or let others make you feel small for accomplishing a goal, self-preservation, or simply being happy. You know yourself best, so who better to give yourself value than you? Have you ever felt guilty about any of these things or been puzzled about why you're apologizing to someone for it? Like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Don't feel guilty if you don't want to, though. We respect that. We'll catch you next time, and thanks for watching.